I can't talk today. I can't English. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to another brand new video. Today's video is summer 2018 anime and I'm going to be telling you guys all about the anime that I'm going to be watching for the brand new season. Hopefully you guys will hear about some anime that you haven't heard of before and you might find something that you want to watch too. There's quite a few that kind of like piqued my interest but I had to narrow it down. One of which is a film. Most of them are subtitled but there are a couple of dubbed ones. I'm trying to learn Japanese so I try and watch most of them subtitled but there are some that I just want to watch dubbed just so I can just put it on and switch it off without having to focus too much. I have started watching the subtitled ones already because they've started and most of them are on episode two this week. And if all goes according to plan, I should have the trailer somewhere down here. I don't know which side it's gonna be. It's either gonna be this side or this side, I don't know. First up is Angels of Death and I freaking love the manga for this one and you guys know I love the manga because I talk about the manga at every given opportunity and I didn't actually know that they were doing an anime of this until like a couple of weeks before it started and I completely freaked out. I'm gonna tell you guys now that I'm gonna be watching this subtitled and then I'm probably gonna watch it dubbed too. I have in fact actually already watched the first two episodes and I'm completely loving it. I like the way it's animated, I like the colour palette they've used, I like the Japanese voice actors too and it's following the manga as far as I can tell so far and I'm kind of intrigued to see where the story is going to go because obviously the manga only has up to volume 3 out right now. Obviously the anime is going to go beyond that and I'm excited to see that. In Angels of Death we have Rachel and she wakes up to find herself trapped in the basement of this abandoned building. She has no memories. As she tries to find her way out she bumps into serial killer cinnamon roll Zack, which isn't his official name. He is serial killer Zack, but to me he's a little cinnamon roll. Initially Zack tries to kill her but he ends up breaking the rules and comes to sacrifice himself. So the two of them decide to team up and work together to get out of there and in exchange Zack will kill her as she has requested when they do eventually find freedom. In order to get out they have to go through each floor of this abandoned building and there is a killer on each floor that they have to outsmart, outwit, do whatever to get past them. Like I said it is a adaption of a manga that's adapted from a game so it kind of has a very game-like feel to it more than once but unlike some anime that are adapted from games, the art is very true to the manga. Tenro, Sirius the Jaeger, and I'm going to be watching this one subtitled. It's set in the Imperial capital in the 1930s and a group known as the Jaegers land at Tokyo Station. They carry musical instrument cases and they have come to hunt vampires and they engage in a battle against the Holy Relic, which is the Ark of Sirius. When I was having a little look through my anime lists upcoming summer anime, I was kind of drawn by the art style in the poster I thought it looked interesting and then I wasn't really sure what it was about and so I started reading the synopsis and it sounded really great and then they threw in the word vamps and I was like do you know what okay fine whatever it's been a while since I watched a vampire one did try and watch devil's line last season but I just couldn't really get into it so I kind of abandoned that one a few episodes in and I'm kind of hoping this one's going to be a little bit different. It already sounds like it's a little bit different from the usual vampire anime meaning you know Vampire Night or whatever it was called. Why are we vampiring this season? Anyway, number three is Kyoto Homes, which is more accurately Homes at Kyoto Teramachi Sanjo. I, I'm gonna be watching this one subtitled as well. I don't think it's available dubbed. Kyoto Homes is set in an antique shop and it follows high school girl Mashiro. She goes into the antique shop trying to sell something and she ends up meeting the grandson of the shop's owner. His name is Yagashira, also known as Holmes. She ends up working there part-time and the two of them kind of end up solving the odd cases that are brought to them by the clients of the shop. And apparently this one is based on a series of mystery novels. I have watched the first episode of this one and it has slightly piqued my interest. Yagashihiro does seem very Holmes-like with his deductions about people and antiques. I'm kind of interested for it to really kind of start to get going with the cases. Basically I just saw the word Holmes and I was like, oh I like Sherlock, I like Sherlock Holmes, I like the TV show and the book, so why not watch an anime that's something to do with Sherlock? Record of Mongol Invasion and I'm basically hoping that this is gonna fill the hole that heroic legend of Arslan has left. Basically in Record of Mongol Invasion it's a historical anime, it's set in 1274 and it follows a group of samurai that are attempting to protect Japan from the Mongol invasion. As you guys know I'm a complete and utter history nerd so when I saw this I was like yes I need a bit of that because I love history and I'm super intrigued by Japan's history and I'm excited to watch an anime that's going to be all historical with 
hopefully a nice amount of action. I have watched the first episode. I was intrigued. The art style is very interesting. It's got kind of like, a f <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it, but the picture has like something laid over it. So it looks like the animation is done on like a paper or something. I don't know the technical term. I don't know what word I'm looking for. But it's really cool. Uh, the first episode was certainly action packed and it's kind of obviously the synopsis didn't really give me much to go on other than it was about the Mongol invasion. But it looks like we have one main character who was exiled for whatever reason and he's ended up on one of Japan's islands which is going to be hit first by the invasion. And they've basically been taken there instead of being executed on the understanding that they're going to fight against the invaders. We've seen some shady, shady foreign guy try to steal the princess so far. First episode ends with the whole, the Mongols are coming. Basically, I'm just here for some Japanese history and I'm actually quite excited about this one. Prisoners of the Sky. This is the anime movie that's supposed to be out in August in Japan. Uh, over here, I'm not sure when it's going to be out. I'm basically hoping that because Netflix has Seven Deadly Sins on there, it's going to do me a solid and put the movie up because it did do Fairy Tale and Sword Art, to be fair. And I'm hoping it's going to put it up in August. I'm hoping. Nanatsu no Taizai, The Seven Deadly Sins, travel to this island looking for the sky fish, which is an ingredient they need for whatever they're doing. It's probably something to do with cooking or something to do with hawk, let's be real. But they travel to this remote island looking for the sky fish and Meliodas and Hawk end up at the sky palace, which is in, you know, the sky, obviously. Meliodas is unfortunately mistaken for a criminal and is thrown into prison. Meanwhile, the winged residents of the sky palace are preparing for a ritual of defense against this beast. And this beast basically awakens every 3000 years and it's like due to awaken again. But the six knights of the black a demon clan army basically decide to mess with the seal on the beast because they decide to just get involved and make things worse i really like the seven deadly sins series i'm gonna be real with you guys when i got into anime i'd kind of only watched pokemon when i was younger and seven deadly sins was the first anime i actually watched because i spotted it on netflix and i liked the kind of sin style to it and the celtic music in the trailer if you're gonna watch anime for the first time you should probably watch full metal alchemist because it's a bit more like western SDS was pretty out there. I was a bit like, what the hell is this at one point? But I ended up really loving it and I've loved it ever since and it was kind of like a gateway drug because after that there was, you know, Fairy Tale and Sword Art and Blue Exorcist. And I'm really excited that it's getting a movie because we've just finished the Ten Commandments portion of the anime and the anime has pretty much caught up to the manga now. The manga's only a little bit in front so it's probably going to be a while until we get a new season of the anime which is going to finish the Ten Commandments arc so I'm excited to get a movie and see what it's going to be like and what's going to happen. So those are the anime I'm going to be watching for the summer 2018 season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found some shows to add to your watch list. Let me know down below which anime you're going to be watching this season. I'll also link all of my social media down below as well. For more nerdy content in the form of books, manga and anime feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon.